is Chris from BattleRap.com. I am here with who is this guy? I don't know, man. <laughs> nah. <laughs> you already know who it is, man. It's your boy Charlie Clips. All of them every. Listen, man. Yeah, they know who you are. They already know. Yeah. I ain't got to explain uh -huh. it. <laughs> We're at the RBE event. What are you uh, doing here today? Uh, I came to support, you know, RBE Red Breed Entertainment. My boy ARP always putting these events together. You know, I always hear how dope the events are, but it's just so happened. A lot of them always happen on the day that I'm out of town or battling. Um, so, you know, today my, my brother Goods is battling. You know, my, my brother Math is hosting. So I came to get up with fam and, you know, just basically show love in here. Salute, and I know the battles is gonna be crazy. Yeah. As a battle rap head, I gotta, I gotta watch these battles just as well. It's gonna be some good ones today. So, your battle with T Rex just dropped uh, yeah, what a few yeah, days ago. Yeah. Uh, tell me about the reaction that you've uh, you've seen oh, online. Oh man, um, the reaction I received of this T Rex battle is so tremendous, man. It's, it's very overwhelming. It's such a it's such a blessing. I can't even explain it, man. Words can't explain it. I mean, every day my Twitter. My Facebook, and I'm not on Instagram, you know what I'm saying? This it's probably a good time to make one. You know, I just don't do Instagram. I got to start doing it. But, man, the memes that everybody are making, and it's just so crazy, you know? But but it also humbles me and let me realize that at any given time, that could be me on the other end just as well. You know, my opponent could be getting that kind of love. So, you know, it definitely made me like, yo, you know what? When, it, when these battles really count like that, like how a Rex battle count because he's a legend and we both from Harlem and you gotta you gotta go hard man or go home you know shout out the Rex first and foremost shout out the Dot Ball man you know what I'm saying but, what, yeah. what have they been saying uh, about that battle in Harlem? Oh man it got Harlem in, it got Harlem in a frenzy man in the streets you know everybody like yeah you call you know what I mean because I'm from uptown so it's like yeah you killed them you know what I'm saying and then my downtown niggas that I be seeing too it's like man that was just too crazy but. It's always been love, man, so it's love on both sides, man. You know, that was just a battle, and that's where it's going to stay at, you know what I mean? It ain't going to go nowhere other now, than that. Uh, so. A lot of times, uh, your performances, you know, people will say, like, you know, the, the live updates will be like, oh, he killed him, he killed him. The footage drops, and people are like, oh, it didn't translate that yeah. well, the camera. Yeah. Um, this one, I felt, did. Yeah. Is that, uh, yeah. Is that something that you were able to do yeah, consciously? Uh, me, and, me and DNA sit down and study uh, a lot of battle things. Man, I, I watch battles like like it's, uh, like it's I'm in a college team or like I'm in the NBA. Or uh -huh. I really watch footage and I, I watch the tape and I, I study what's, what my problem is. Like I seen some, even though everybody thinks this performance for me was extraordinary, I still see a problem in my performance against Rex. It's something I've seen. I'm not going to let everybody know what it is, but right. it's something I've seen that I'm going I'm gonna, yeah, to get together myself. Um, and, and definitely, that has definitely that 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 has been me saying that just as well. Like every time I battle drop, what I did live didn't translate on camera, and I, I caught on to what the problem is. The problem is my aggression wasn't as high as it was when I battled A Verb or you know and and and, and, Tay, and Tay Rock and X Factor. If you look at my aggression, I used to rap with anger and and um and, and, and just a little bit more aggression. And after that. You know, I just started, you know, I wasn't really rapping with too much aggression, too much anger and everything, so it wasn't translating that well on camera like that. Now, battling him, you see the anger and everything, and then now you see what happened from there. You get what I'm saying? So I picked up on that and, and studied that, you know what I mean? So that was that's what it was, man. It, 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 it's just my, my anger, my aggression, and, and, and everything, because they say I joke around too much. Uh -huh. I, I love battle rap, man. This shit is, this shit is it's part of my fun. life, man, yeah. and I love it, but... They say I they, they they say I joke around too much, man. So I think um I think even when I told jokes in this battle, my jokes was a little different. They was they were stinging instead of just being jokes just to be jokes. They were jokes that were hitting hard. So I picked that up. But I'm glad you said that though. That's definitely something I picked up. Sharon coming up next. Yeah, uh, yeah. Were you in the building for his Shug performance? I wasn't in the building. Okay. You know what I'm saying for the Shug performance. Yo, what's up, y'all? <laughs> You dog, man. Gotta go. You dog. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. We gonna chop it up. I already know you. <laughs> Yo, you stupid. Hey, that is, that. I'm gonna tell you something too. I got you. I got you. You know what I mean? Yo, what's up, boy? You know what I'm saying? It's my brother right here. Yeah, you know. Yo, Yo see? Yeah, hey, we look. I ain't got the bed today. You know what I'm saying? This real brother and all that. Yo, see? Things are good, man. It's shit, you see, man. It, it,
it's, it's, and it's, and this is why, like, I love battle rap, man. The love is just so overwhelming, you know, and, um, and, you know, with Sharon, Sharon did his thing against Shug, man. Sharon did his thing. I studied the tapes on Sharon already. That battle helped me out with a lot of stuff. I, how, saw, I saw some things. How big a threat uh, on a scale of, you know, one to ten where ten is Nagasaki? Where's Sharon in that? You know what? It's hard for me to always answer that question. Because I think you don't know who's a threat until the battle happens. Mm. Then you really know what you're in for. Because you, you ever ask somebody, are you ready? And they go, hell yeah. And they get on there and it's like, yo, um, yo, um, yo, yo, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I thought you was ready. Right. And you see some people nervous, like, yo, you ready? Yo, I don't know my rhymes all the way, yo. Get on stage, perform them shits all the way through. So you never know. So in terms of him being a threat, I don't know what scale he's on. I can't say he is a threat. That I will say that. Especially out there, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, like Canada, that's like my, like my second home, man. You know what I mean? And I love it out there, man. There's so much love for me out there in King of the Dot. He and the dot like my second home, man. You know what I mean? And um, and with, with, with that being said, it's like when I'm out there, that, that's some of my best performances has been on King of the Dot mm -hmm. just as well. Mm -hmm. The Ilmacula battle, which is about to drop, wasn't King of the Dot. It was on BBE. BBE, you know. Um, shout out to Ted. You know what I mean? Shout out to Keith. It was on that. But, but, but King of the Dot picking it up. Not to say that I, I didn't I slacked in that battle, but... Me and Ill Macula got into a freestyle session more than we did in the bars we worked on. Even I think the battle's still dope and gonna be fun, but we got into a freestyle session and didn't really split the bars we really worked on. We both was just free because we respect each other crap. And it's like, you can freestyle, I freestyle better than you, so right. we went at it. So um, that's gonna be on King of the Dot, but I don't want nobody to think like I was on King of the Dot and just was like, oh, I, I love that stage. So with that being said, Sharon gotta get it, man, because that's like my second home up there. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta hold that down up there. You know what I mean? So Pat, Pat stay. Yo, yo, can you point the camera on him? This guy, this guy, oops. He looked like he looked like daylight. With no, I'm not gonna fuck him and Daylight up. Yo, he look like a little uh, uh, Daylight doll. Get him out of here, man. He got a big one today against Old Red for that two yeah. racks. I'm in the building for that. Talk. Man. Who's, yeah. who's judging that, by the way? Man, two of Okay. Now you see that? That's why that's love. I let him in on my interview. Yeah. Now get him out of here. <laughs> All right. Uh, last, one more question. One more question. So, um. Pat Stay has said uh, he will, he's willing to battle the winner of you and Sharon for the, the chain if he beats Daylight. Yeah. Um, is that something you're interested in? I'm very interested in battling Pat Stay. Not just for myself. Certain battles is for myself. A-Verb is for myself. Uh, uh, T-Rex is for myself. You know what I mean? Hollow for myself. And B-Lux and Mooko is for myself just as well as the fans. But some battles I really do for the fans. And Pat stays a battle for myself and the fans. Because the way he is out there is the way I am out here. You get what I'm saying? But I get just as much love as him out there too. Just like I know if he battle out here, that everybody want him to come out here and battle in America. Right. He gonna get the same love too. But that's his house. You get what I'm saying? I, I, I kicked the I kicked the door and I got my shit laying around. I, I'm in there too, but that's his house when it comes to King of the Dot and that stage. And um, I want to see myself if I could beat him in Canada. That's a challenge to me. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I, to beat him in Canada is a, is a challenge to me. That's a challenge I would love to take. I know he said he want to battle me or Sharon or whoever when that situation. Um, now for the chain, I would love to do it for the, if I could rep Canada. Cause like I said, that's my second home. As an American, would be dope. You get what I'm saying? Would be dope. But um, even if it's not for the chain, just to do that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Even if it's not for the chain, just to do it would be dope right. too. I you saw know? there were uh, some tweets uh, recently saying that uh, there was some kind of exclusivity contract. Is that like, are we only going to be seeing you on on URL or on one league uh, coming up? Yeah. Uh, God bless. You know, I um, I got a battle. I got a battle deal and everything. Yeah. You know? Is that a new uh, chain? <laughs> <laughs> something like that. Something like that. I'm the type of person. My family took care of. I make sure they get taken care of first. Then comes the rest of the rest of stuff with me. You know what I'm saying? So what's up, boy? So um, so you know what what what. 
can't really, I can speak on the numbers, but I just don't do it because I think it's a blessing. I just want my fans and everybody to know that I, I got one. Now, um, there's three battles that I'm locked in for for 2015. Okay. Got to give a, a certain sponsor three battles. The sponsor wants all the battles to be with URL. Gotcha. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. If he wanted to say no, because, you know, if he wanted to say no, do this one with King of the Dot, it would happen with him. But it's what he want, he want me to do it with URL. So I, I got for three battles. You know, um, one is getting announced real soon. One is against, it's three people everybody want me to battle the most. Uh, Hollow, Lux, and Moo. Everybody want that to go down. You can't escape it. Everybody wants it to go down. One of them is locked in. Which one? We'll be announcing soon. Um, you know, we're announcing soon. For, but for this year or next year? Next year. Okay. Next year. Next year, big event. So, pretty much uh, after I battle Sharon, uh, if, I might do a one round or something in December just for the fans. Give somebody a shot before I relax. Because I'm not going to battle all the way from then all the way to April. And that's done, you know. But one thing the sponsor did say, if the money is right, meaning that they have to kind of give me something that he gave me, you know, even close to, um, excuse me, to be considered to even battle. So if the money right, I can battle somewhere else, but it just has to be a very high amount. Right. Because then what is he paying me for? He's paying me for exclusive, um, to be exclusive, like, he got me locked in. So if I go battle with somebody else, how I'm going to take this little bit of money, and he paying me all this money to go over here. So if somebody match what he kind of paying for one battle or something, then yeah, I can still go somewhere. So you can probably still see me, you know, if Pat stay, if the money is real right, you know. And King of the Dot to tell you, i never been, oh, I need this, I need that. That's why I'm always over there. That's why they love me, and I got love for them. You know what I'm saying? I love King of the Dot. Because everybody know how I do. I love battle rap, man. I, and I don't... I done gave shots, I done gave PG people mid-tier, I done looked out for the game as much as I can. You know, in December, I'm still trying to look out for the game. I don't have to battle, I can just chill right now, but I'm still going to because I love to do it. Then I'm going to take a break for like four months. And the, and the next person I take after those four months, just God bless, man. It's going to be crazy. All right. All right, Charles Lips, thank you. BattleRap.com. Hey, you already know how we do. BattleRap.com, man, one of my favorite websites in the world. Get your info, man. Charlie Clips over and out. Appreciate y'all, man. Thank you.